So I was asked this week to prove a concept uh, handling local files up into SharePoint Online on mass in bulk by a customer. I thought this was a pretty useful use case, so I figured it'd be worth recording and sharing with you all. So we're going to look at how robotic process automation can share a local file with digital process automation in the Nintex Workflow Cloud and then pass that on to content management such as SharePoint. So the requirements were files were scanned to a local folder by a scanner. Attachments came in through email. Both of these were invoices as an example, but could obviously be uh, other traditional either hard received or email received attachments. They wanted to create a SharePoint item for each attachment and then attach the file rather than using the library concept. And we wanted to see how we could also attach those hard files to email or to Nintex tasks for approval. So which parts of the Nintex process platform are we going to look at today? RPA, Robotic Process Automation, Nintex RPA, and the Workflow Automation side with Digital Process Automation, Nintex Workflow Cloud. So let's jump into it. First thing I've got are my two content stores. On the top left, I've got three invoices that have been scanned to a local folder. And on the right hand side, I've got my email inbox that has received three invoices via email. So the first thing I want to do is actually build a bot to collate this information together, ready to send to an Intex workflow. So I've got my bot up here, pretty straightforward, just the 10 steps, 11 steps in there. Declare three variables, the actual full file location, the file name as it gets scanned in, as well as the folder path of where those invoices are stored by default. What I might just do is run through this bot just to make sure that I'm actually populating those variables correctly. So I'll just press play, but obviously that could be a scheduled bot that runs on a particular schedule. And I'll click on variables just to make sure that we're actually populating it. We should see that loop email change. So I've got one email that matches the requirements. It was in a particular mailbox with a particular attachment name. We're going to set those variables so that's coming through quite nicely. Invoice 1 and the actual location of where invoice 1 is. And that should just go through the loop for the number of invoices that I actually have. If I squeeze the bot down a bit, we'll see that those three invoices from email have now been pulled into my invoices folder on the desktop, virtual machine, server, so on. This could be any local store. So I've got through my six invoices. Uh, just to clarify how it picked up those emails as well, is the capability to actually set a specific rule around the email type or the email that it wants to retrieve. So if I click on my get email action, it's going to interrogate that particular inbox for an unread email where the attachment name contains the word invoice. But you can get quite granular around dates, who it comes from, any subject line, any body message, priority, and so on. So that's my point. It looks like it's working quite well. So we now need to go to the digital process automation side and build the workflow so we can join the two together. So let's just minimize for now. The first thing I need to do is store these invoices in a SharePoint list as was the requirement. So let's create a new list and I'll call it invoices. Now, just for the sake of speed of the demo, I'll leave it at title and I'm going to put the invoices in as the attachment. I'm going to give the title the invoice name, which is pretty straightforward. So let's just jump now to my Nintex Workflow Cloud environment and I've got my new Workflow Canvas open. First thing I need to do is pick a start event. And in this instance, we're not going to begin with a form where we're typing in an invoice name. Now, you could go to optical character recognition strip what's in that invoice and actually start to pass even more variables through. So we'll go with a component workflow and I need to create the variables that are going to be passed off by the bot. The first one is my invoice name, which is just plain text. And the second one is my invoice file. So the actual file that's coming through and that is a file variable create. It's got my two variables. Let's start to see what it can do. 
first thing I probably want to do is get somebody to review the invoice. So let's assign a task. Express approval. Let's grab the invoice name to review. Approve reject is fine. Assign an email address. Let's just use that same email inbox, the demo. Subject invoice name to review. File attachments is going to be that actual invoice. So I'll go start event, invoice file, and let's just say you have an invoice to review, see attached. Okay, so that's the task, and I've got approve reject branches. So what if it's been approved? Well, what we want to do is create a list item in SharePoint Online. I've already got my connection to my underlying Office 365 SharePoint Online, and I need a site URL. So I'm going to grab that from that invoices internal. And by putting this in and clicking the tick, I've now got this introspection, the ability to see all the lists within that subsite. And the list that I want is invoices. Now I need to add some fields. So the required field is title, which for me, I'm going to pass the value of my invoice name through. And I want SharePoint to give me an item ID back and an item URL back as a variable. So we'll add a variable and let's just call it SP item ID because we're going to reuse that in the next step. I also want the, uh, the URL as well so I can direct my user to where that item has been created as a follow-up success email. So they're in and they'll be coming back into workflow. Now the next thing I need to do is actually add the attachment which is running through the workflow as the invoice file to that item that I've just created. Nice and easy. Attachment to add is not a connector so it's not come from uh, one of the electronic file store and share connectors. It's come from the running variable that's been passed by the bot. Same list. And the item ID is essentially that SharePoint item ID variable that I've just created in the SP uh, create item action and everything else is fine. The last thing I want to do is close the loop and send an email with that SharePoint online location. So let's send an email. I'm going to use this same email box, but it could be department head, it could be accounts payable, subject line, let's say invoice has been approved. We could put the attachment in here if you wanted to. So again, file variable, start event, file, if you're not manipulating it. But what you could also do is link to the actual SharePoint item ID. You can find it. Create a link. The URL is that SP item URL. And the text is here. Or what we might just do is the invoice name. and OK. So let's publish and then we'll run. So we'll call this file upload. Our workflow is published. I don't need any of the uh, URLs to join the dots with Nintex RPA, I'll go back to my bot, go to my loop, and what I want to add in here is a run workflow action. So once it's processed that invoice, I'm going to run that file upload workflow. Now I've already joined RPA to Nintex Workflow Cloud using the personal access token that's found under settings. That's the only thing you need to do to join these two up for this ground to cloud. And we're going to select my file upload workflow. There it is at the bottom. And I've got two input variables. They're the start event variables that I created 
right at the start invoice file and invoice name. So they'll be accepted by the workflow. Invoice file is variables file, the full path name of the file. So it's gone in there at the bottom. And the invoice name is the name of the file, is the actual file name, invoice. Okay, don't run that. Make sure it goes in the right place just before we end the loop because that's going to run for the amount of PDF files that we have. And let's go back to the start. I'll close down, minimize Nintex Workflow Cloud because I want to see these emails start to come through on the right hand side. Solution in a day. And let's just squeeze that up. And what I also want to see are the invoices get populated in here. And what I'll do is I'll delete those three that we ran on the test. So when we click on play, what we should see is a number of invoices begin to get populated. This one's still marked as unread, which is the rule that we have on our get email. My loop email should change to one because one email in the inbox matches. And then my loop here should change to six and we should start to see those emails come through. So let's click play. Retrieving email and loop email has changed to one. And we should start to see some values populate in my variables as well. Loop has changed to six and my three new invoices have now been added to my desktop folder along with the three scanned invoices that were, were scanned in earlier in the day perhaps. And my workflow has now kicked off. And it's gonna run this six times and then we'll go and approve the first task and we'll watch that populate SharePoint Online. The run workflow is now running. It's passing all those variable values, file, file name, up to Nintex Workflow Cloud, where it's gonna begin the approvals process and the upload to SharePoint. So loop two. And my first invoice has now been received for me to review. So let's just full screen. and The bot will run in the background for me and I can review and approve my task. So my invoice has been received. There's my invoice one PDF. So we're happy with that. We can reply, approve, and send. So that's approved that task for me. And the next thing is it will now get populated into my SharePoint list. Okay, so you'll see invoice one has been approved through email and it's now been added to my SharePoint online list. So let's just click on the item, make sure there's invoice one attached as a PDF. So we can open that up, there we go. And if we go back to the email, the email has now been sent. Item one has been approved. The rest of those workflows also ran at the same time. You can find it here. Here's the attachment. Here is the link to that SharePoint online list item. So that's how we can progress from Nintex RPA to Nintex Workflow Cloud, passing a local file up to the cloud for approval to add to our CMS send an email all from a local file store. Thanks for watching.